So you're going to four amazing parks and places. Each of them is unique and wonderful in different ways. Terengiri, Central Serengeti, Northern Serengeti, and then back to Ngorongoro Crater. Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are heading, heading out, out on, on safari. safari. We are going on a nine day safari. We are visiting three, well, four different parks. We're going to Terengiri National Park, we're going to... The Serengeti, two areas of the Serengeti, north and central. North and central. And we are heading to Ngorongoro Crater as well, to Ngorongoro Crater as well, too. All three parks will offer us uh, very different views and very different experiences. So today's video is going to be all about Terengeri National Park. Now, listen to how we say it, Terengeri National <laughs> Park. The spelling is up ahead. Throughout the video, we are pronouncing it wrong. So, Many times. So just so you know. <laughs> we've, we do try to learn the correct pronunciation of some of the local words in local <laughs> places. But yeah, we get them wrong. <laughs> yeah, and this one we really got wrong. Yeah. The other thing is stay to the end of the video because you will see what it's oh like. Oh my. Yeah. When elephants, the largest mammals of the, of the safari, are walking by your they safari vehicle. walk silently past us. Yes. Wow, magnificent. Stick with us to uh, watch that. So stay tuned now as we give you some information about Terengiri National Park and as we go on safari. So Terengiri is known for its elephants and baobab trees. Lots and lots of elephants, lots and lots of huge baobab trees. <laughs> you can put 20 people around one tree. That's wow. how big they are. Really? Seriously, like a thousand years old. Yeah. There's a river running right through the middle of the park. So in the dry season right now, it hasn't rained for almost five months. So all the animals are coming to that river. There's no fences around the park. So when it's the wet season, they distribute out into the areas. Even our Maasai guys, Musa, the bartender and other people, the animals are moving into their places in the, in the wet season, so they have to fend off the elephants and the lions and the hyenas. So there's no, no fences. Even at your tented camps, there's no fences. Yeah. You're, you're plunked in the middle of the park. Yeah. <laughs> you're either in your tented cage, your dining cage, or your vehicle cage. <laughs> so you're in the quote-unquote cage, and yeah. the animals are free, which is the most wonderful way to see the animals. Yeah. It is. 2020. Yeah. Okay, Malaki, uh -huh. get in there. Uh -huh. Other side away. Uh -huh. I'm gone. I'm here. <laughs> our best friend. You're going to be our best friend for nine days. And off on safari. Woo hey. Bye. See ya. Good safari. <laughs> While we have your attention, please take the time to subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment and watch all three videos that feature our Tanzanian trip while we're on the off ramp. Yeah, and that's actually it's going to be more than three because we're going oh, to do a number more. on safari. Yeah. Uh, the other thing too is ring the bell and you'll get notifications of future videos. The entrance to Ginger and it is Safari Vehicle Central. <laughs> yeah, just a few other safaris here. Yeah. And going to the Welcome Center.
as we watch these elephants it appears to be about three or four herds all coming together so far we've counted about 80 as they wander around the, the river bank it's a fairly dried river bank but we've counted at least 80 elephants so it's a pretty pretty amazing find And as the elephants gather just to our left, this Cape Buffalo was left wandering the riverbed all by himself, thinking nothing about all the gathering that's happening around him. We've been watching this lone lion for quite a while, and he's finally gotten up and he's, he's on the hunt for something. And I, we think it could be the wildebeest that are kind of migrating to our right. Not ready to make a move yet, though. This herd of buffalo are just gathering here by the river. I don't know where they're all going, but it's like a long line. If you can see it in the distance, a long line of water buffalo. Cape buffalo. Cape, oh, change it. Yeah, that's right. Cape buffalo, not water buffalo. Even though we joke about it being water buffalo. It's Cape buffalo. When we were kids, my dad had a 1961 Chevy Impala. Now I know where the name came from. These are just beautiful creatures. Just a quick look and that's it. Even though the ostrich is native to this region, we just did not expect to see one walking right in front of us. We've been watching this lion for quite some time, stalking the zebras. And it was interesting, as the zebras kind of crept up, their curiosity got them closer to the lion. The lion waited, but once all the zebras had their eye on him, the element of surprise was gone for the lion, and he just walked away. We are in Tarangiri Safari Lodges and welcome to buy the we're welcome to buy the baboons. Oh my. <laughs> cool. There they go. They'll leave us alone. <laughs> oh here comes one. Being 
welcomed. You wanna? No. <laughs> this is our suite at Tarangiri Safari. Tarangiri National Park. Tangiri National Park, and we're at one of the resorts here, one of the tented resorts. Our room is a tent with a little cement veranda where Wade is about to sit down. We just came back from a day of safari. And then here is a screened-in area. That area is actually cement walls, and behind the screen is a bathroom sink, shower, and a toilet all in our spot. When we leave our tent in the dark, we are expected to use a flashlight, flash it, and a host will come get us and walk us back to the lodge for supper or after supper, walk us back to our tent because we are not to walk out here in the dark by ourselves. Because of wild animals. Because of what? Wild animals. Because of wild animals, we are not to do that. And this is our view. Can you see that? And underneath this tree, way, way down there, is a herd of elephants. Have we? Oh, you can even see them further out. That's our view for this evening. And we sit here till about 6.30 or 7? 7. Yeah. We, I don't know when dinner is. Around, I think around 7 is dinner. But if it's dark, we have to use flashlights and somebody comes to get us. So we don't wander here on our own. Good morning from the... Tarangiri National Park on the Tarangiri River in the Tarangiri Safari Camps. Slept in a tent last night with the baboons making noises in the background. Still slept through the night. Mama's going to the big rocks, the this big tree. The shade, yeah. She's going back to the shade. They went for a drink of water. Now they're going back to the shade. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, she can reach the floor with her mouth, so not a problem. Yeah. That is fun. <laughs> oh. What's the, what is the little one doing? She's, she's just she, drinking out of her mouth. She's drinking out of her mouth instead of using her trunk? Yeah. <laughs> and then she's got her trunk out of the water, lifting up so she can breathe, I guess. I guess. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, she was crouching down. Oh, Mom's moving on.
Baobab tree. Is that a tree or is that just a... It is an old one. As much as I love seeing all the animals and just every head turning move seems to be something, but the giraffes steal my heart. Oh my goodness, I've been loving looking at these and just the graceful way they walk. I can't stop looking at the giraffes. Okay, this is funny. That monkey is on, on the outside of the cage. And uh, Wade and I and Malachi, Malachi are having lunch on the inside of the cage. And it scurries away to go look at some other humans inside a cage. <laughs> we are in uh, Derringiri National Park. It's our second day and we're in the Swampland area. We just got here now. Spent a little bit of time here. We're going to head back a little bit earlier to our, our tent and just sit and relax. It's a stopping spot for a few Jeeps. And it's one of the few bathroom stops. So if you need a bathroom break, there is a bathroom here. This is our Jeep and Lackey, our driver, is resting at the front. <laughs> oh, you're done. <laughs> we just came back from a leopard sighting. There was two leopards. It was really good. So we'll see what else we can find today. These more are coming. Thanks for joining us on our journeys through Terengary National Park. We'd love for you to stick with us as we continue on with our safari. And in our next video series, you're going to see us at the famous Serengeti National Park. Now, please take the time to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get future notifications on our next videos. And leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Your comments are so valuable to us, and we love to find out what you think about safaris. And share with us which animal is your favorite. This hyena is lying right here. Now, our safari trip has been very well thought out and planned out. Right down to the detail, but we know that anything can happen on a safari, so, so we need to, to hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.